The Wisconsin Citizen Lake Monitoring Network has two protocols for monitoring zebra mussels. The early detection method is for detecting a new population of zebra mussels, and the second is for estimating their abundance. Either method is best done from June until September. Early detection monitoring is very simple. All you need is a pier, a short piece of rope, and a brick. Zebra mussels will readily colonize any hard surface. It is fine to use a brick with or without holes, and you can tie any knot you like. An easy knot that works well is called the uni knot, and we'll demonstrate that knot here. Place the brick on top of the rope with several feet of rope extending past the brick. Bring the end of the rope back over the top of the brick. Turn the rope back toward the brick again. Push the end of the rope underneath and around both of the other rope sections, moving it through the loop you just created. Push the end of the rope under and around two more times, and then pull the end and the main rope as tight as you can. The knot will remain a bit loose, especially with thick rope. Now slide the knot down toward the middle of the brick. Once the knot reaches the brick, pull on the main rope and the brick to tighten it down. If your knot is near the middle, the brick should hang level. If possible, the best location for zebra mussel monitoring is in an area with gentle flow. This is true for both types of zebra mussel monitoring. An ideal location is near an inlet or outlet, or in an area that sees light wave action. Lower the brick from the pier. You want the brick to be about one foot above the bottom of the lake. If you can see the bottom, simply lower it until this point. If the water is not clear enough to see the bottom, you can also slowly lower the brick until there is slack in the rope. This means that your rope is at the bottom. Then lift the rope up one foot and your brick is in place. Tie the rope off to the pier and check the brick each month to look for zebra mussels. Visually scan all sides of the brick and gently rub the brick with your fingers to help detect tiny zebra mussels. If you don't find any zebra mussels, return the brick to the water for another month. If you do find zebra mussels, please take a photograph of the brick and several zebra mussels on your hand or other contrasting background and send these photos to your local Aquatic Invasive Species Coordinator. At this point you should consider monitoring with a plate sampler as described in the next section of this video. Please report your monitoring results each month into the SWIMS database, whether you found any zebra mussels or not. The second type of zebra mussel monitoring provides an estimate of their abundance by using a pyramid-shaped sampler made of PVC plates. This sampler provides a lot of surface area for zebra mussels to colonize. You can use the knot shown in the previous section of this video to tie the sampler to a piece of rope. You can also tie a carabiner or a clip to the rope and attach that directly to the sampler. Lower the sampler down until it is one foot above the bottom of the lake. As shown before, you can lower it to the bottom and then pull the rope back up by one foot to easily get the sampler in the correct position. Pull the sampler up in September to examine it for zebra mussels. Remove the nut on the bottom of the sampler to slide all of the plates and spacers off of the bolt. Examine the top and bottom sides of each plate and record the abundance of zebra mussels on your datasheet. You do not need to count them, simply enter an abundance of zero if there are no zebra mussels present, one if the plate is up to one third covered in zebra mussels, two if it is up to two thirds covered, and three if it is between two thirds and completely covered by zebra mussels. Repeat this estimate for the top and bottom sides of each plate. 
Then reassemble the sampler and set it out to dry in the sun before storing it for next year. Thank you so much for volunteering as part of the Wisconsin Citizen Lake Monitoring Network. Your hard work allows lake managers and scientists to detect and manage aquatic invasive species more efficiently and more effectively. If you have any questions about aquatic invasive species monitoring, contact your local aquatic invasive species coordinator or the statewide educator for the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network.